Hello, my name is Ann. I'm here today to test out a new version that I received from Adeline. As she's a six year old. Um, she is my um, sister's granddaughter. I was at the house and I was showing her how to play the game and she said she can come up with a different way of playing. So it's my job before I put it out there in the game library to test out the game and see if it's a good playing game. So, the way Adeline explained it to me, and I would have loved to videotape it, because I tell you, <laughs> these children are so cute when they're the boss and they're telling you how to play the game. It's adorable. Priceless. I gotta tell you, it's priceless. Okay, so here's how Adeline explained to me how to play the game. She, sh she says, shuffle the cards, put it in the middle of the table, and then each player takes a card and puts it in front of them. I said, okay, so let's do that. I'm going to set up four players to just see how it works for four players. Okay. And by the way, this is the box. It's called I've Got an Appointment. And she's playing another version. She's not playing to make appointments. Hers is called Sorting Fun. Okay, so what we're doing is we're going to each take a card and we have to put the cards on the table, but you look around because if somebody else has that card, you have to give it to them because they are the captain of that particular card. So the person to my left has an 11 o'clock. So they have to get all four seasons of 11 o'clock to complete this. However, when they take another card, in this case it's a Sunday, they look around and no one has Sunday, so she becomes a captain of Sunday as well and has to get all the four Sunday cards. So this one's three o'clock and look around. No, no one's three. Saturday is a new day. Two o'clock. Now, I drew a two o'clock, so I don't keep the two o'clock. What I do is is I give it to the person across from me because they're collecting two o'clocks. They're the captain of two o'clocks. So now it's the person to the left of me's turn. Thursday. No one has Thursday, so it's hers. <clears throat> Tuesday. And this is a good way, actually, for the little one, six years old, to identify the cards because Adeline was getting Tuesday and Thursday confused, and that was my way of knowing that she really didn't know the difference between the two cards, which is typical for a six-year-old. My granddaughter did the same thing. So now we have a Friday. No one has Friday yet, so that person is the captain of Friday. So the game continues Monday. I don't have a Monday out, so it's mine. September, okay, there's no fall. So it would be three cards of the season card and four cards of the day and time cards. So she has to get September, October, November to say that that's complete. 10 o'clock. Oh, the person to my right has a 10 o'clock. And they drew in August. So now they're the captain of the summer cards. Summer season month cards. My turn Thursday. Oh, person to my left has Thursday, so I give her the card. And now she takes a turn. Noon. Does anyone have noon yet? Oh, no. So she's got another card. So she actually has one, two, three, four, five that she's a captain of. She's got to complete all five cards. I only have three so far. Isn't that wonderful? But I got to fill them as well. So now it's the person across from his turn Friday. Up, oh, the person to my right had Friday. And they get to go now, 9 o'clock. Anyone have 9 o'clock? Nope. So that person now has 9 o'clock to be a captain of. 1 o'clock. Does anyone have 1 o'clock? Oh, there you go. Now I got to add nine, 1 o'clock to be a captain of. So now I got four cards I'm a captain of. That's okay. We'll continue. Wednesday. Does anyone have Wednesday? Oh, I do. So she doesn't have to have a card at this point. Monday. Who's the captain of Monday? 
I am good. They're helping me fill mine. Two o'clock. That goes here. Wednesday. That's another one of my cards. I got three of them. Awesome. Now it's my turn. 11 o'clock. That's the person to my left. Now she goes. Oh, she got another 11 o'clock. That's good. Because now she's filling in hers that she needs. Three o'clock. Oh, perfect. That's what that person needed across from me. Three o'clock. March. Oh, now this person's got two season month cards. They actually have the most that they're captain of right now. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six of them. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, we'll continue. It's my turn again. 10 o'clock. Does anybody have 10? Yep. I helped her with her 10 o'clock. The person to my right. 12 noon. Yep. That person. <clears throat> she got a card of her own. That's good. 1 o'clock. That's me. Thank you, person across from me. You're helping me fill out mine. Remember, we're doing sorting fun. February. Uh, that's me too. Okay. Saturday. Anybody have Saturday out? Oh, yes. That's this person. So because I'm doing all the drawing for everyone, I have to keep track of whose turn it is. <clears throat> so now it's believe it's this person's turn. One across from me, and they gave me one o'clock. Now to my right, 11 o'clock. Oh, that one's done. That one's done. So we can say his 11 o'clock is all done, ready to play out. All right, now it's the person across from me's turn. And they got their own card. That's awesome. Two o'clock. Um, yep, that person finished up there two o'clocks now. So now it's my turn again. Friday, that's to my person to the right here, has a Friday. All right, so this person's turn, one o'clock. Oh, one o'clock. Oh, that's me. Thank you for that card. Now it's this person's turn across from me, June. And they gave the June card to the one to my right because they had the August so, 9 o'clock. They had 9 o'clock. That's good. They fed their own pile. I have 12 o'clock, and I got to give that card to the person on my left. Monday. Oh, that's mine. Thank you. And this t person's turn, I gave me another Monday. Nice. I got two. I got two finished here. I got the Mondays all complete and the one o'clock's all complete. I just need one more Wednesday and one more winter card and I could win if I get it before anybody else. Okay. March. April. That goes there. Nine o'clock. Oh, I gave him nine o'clock. Tuesday. See, I'm drawing cards for other people. And that goes there. Oh, she's really close too. She only needs, the person across from me needs a Tuesday and two more three o'clock. So that's in good shape. May, oh, that's done. See, this is what I'm talking about. There's March, April, May. This is a complete set because it's the three months within spring season. So that's complete. Thursday, 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 Thursday. Yep, that goes to this person. Now it's my turn again. Tuesday. Oh, I finished this person across from me. <gasps> They're down to just two more cards. See, they only need, they need the two three clocks. They have these two, green and blue. They need orange and yellow. And that's all they had was three cards. So they were lucky. Three o'clock as we speak. So now this person only needs one more three o'clock and they win. Thursday. Yep, that's finished for her. She's got all four Thursdays. So this is a kind of cute game for a little girl to make up at six years old. Can you imagine? She made up this game all by herself. I guess she likes to match. And that's what this game is, kind of a matching game. Um, but you go through it to see who's going to get their cards first. October. 
It's with September over here to my left. Three o'clock. Oh, three o'clock. So they won. The person across me won because they have all four three o'clocks. They have all four two o'clocks. And they have all four Tuesdays. So is this game a, a doable game? It most certainly is. Thank you, Adeline, for um, bringing this about. And now we have a new game in our library. Thank you, Adeline.